Mayan, are you going to force yourself on me now, Jungkook? She said with such disbelief and stopped struggling. Was he the man she loved so dearly? All those days and nights they spent together, were they all a lie? The pain his grip caused around her wrist couldn't be even felt anymore. The emotional burden was too stronger than any physical pain right now. He loosened his grip around her and rubbed his thumb against her wrist. Jungkook, why won't you at least give me a chance? At least listen to me. What if everything you are thinking is wrong? Vyan, Dad said you married me to take him down, to take revenge on him. You used me to make them suffer. You never let me meet them, so they'll feel nothing but pain for losing their child. Jungkook, why would I take revenge on someone without a reason? Vyan, whatever reason you had, you can't justify using me like a piece of trash. She cried and hit his chest. Then she hit again and again. He hated every tear that rolled down her eyes and he blamed himself for that entirely. Jungkook, let me tell you the truth and I'll accept whatever decision you make. Whatever reason he had, and no matter how painful it was, she would be angry at anyone for putting him in pain. That's how much she loved him. But she was never going to accept the fact that she was used. Jungkook, please, for all the time we spent together, Every happy memory we made, Vyan. She closed her eyes and looked down. The tears slipped down her cheek. The memory started to play in her mind like a film reel. All those flowers and ice creams. Getting mad and making up with each other. Bickerings and playing around. Forcing him out of his bed to teach him some basic cooking skills only to end up throwing things at each other, fighting our favorite characters in a fighting movie or him. Sitting with a whole tissue box in his hand during an emotional movie to support his crying wife, to simply being there for each other whenever they needed. Vyan, okay. Just this once, he took her other wrist as well and made her sit on the bed, whereas he knelt down before her and kept holding her hands. Jungkook, there are a lot of things I lied to you about or hid from you. Your father is my uncle. Our fathers were brothers and I'm sure you didn't know that either. Jungkook, when grandfather died, who left the property for both of his sons to inherit. My father was little on the poor side, but he was the best father or husband to ever exist. Jungkook, your dad messed with the documents, used his money and kept all the property, even the one which belonged to my dad. He was under debt at that time, and he thought once he received his inheritance, he will finally escape this hell. Jungkook, your dad betrayed him and left him alone. We were dying here, but he showed no mercy. The loan sharks would come our home every other day and create a mess and bring things, trying to scare us. 
I was only 10 at that age. I couldn't do anything to help. Jungkook At the end, they killed my dad and me and mom were left alone. She needed to feed me and she was pregnant at that time. There was nothing she could do, so she started to work as a maid. She was not used to working at all. Jungkook Dad might not be really rich, but he kept his wife like a queen. He never let her tire herself. Suddenly going out and working as a maid was too much for her, especially when she was pregnant. Jungkook Her health ruined and she had a miscarriage. She was slowly losing herself, first losing her husband and then her baby. Above that, the poverty was extremely sickening. She couldn't do anything to protect her only son, which was me. Jungkook I was 10 but forced out of school. I started working. It was a job in a factory. I had to move the huge iron bars around. Most of them, the ones that weighed more than me. Jungkook One day, I returned home and I found my mom on the floor. I already lost a lot of my family members. She was the only one left. But she was dead too. I cried when dad died. I cried when I lost my unborn sibling. Jungkook But when mom was laying there, not even breathing, I didn't cry. I couldn't feel anything. I was left alone in that whole world. No guardian, no friend. Not a single person I knew. I felt so numb. Jungkook I was the only one standing there when her funeral was done. I had no support. No hope. There were a lot of times I wished to end my life. Getting thrown around from one factory to another. Then I found this man. He was lost in a trance. Fire spitting his eyes. As he stared at some random spot. Probably remembering all the hell he went through. Jungkook, he offered me to join him, to be his son. He adopted me. He was a mafia, but unmarried. He made me his son, trained me, raised me. I was tortured to become strong. But there were rare moments when he loved me too. His eyes shifted towards wine, and she sworn. The rage and pain she saw in them made her crumble. It was so agonizing, she wanted the crown to open up and take her in. Jungkook, I saw your father, that so-called of a man who never cared if his sibling died or not. He built a business with that money, sacrificing my whole family. He was happy. I saw him in a mall with you and your mother. Jungkook, everyone was laughing, enjoying, shopping, living the best family ever, as if he is not a murderer. I wanted him to suffer the worst way possible. Jungkook, I didn't know how this family thing worked. I mean, I lost my family at a young age. But my mother died trying to feed me. So I thought, ah, children must be really important to parents. So I simply included you in my plan. He looked up at her and she had tears running down her eyes. One thing he believed, 
He would feel his pain better than anyone. After spending his whole life alone, he knew he had this one person who always understood him and stayed by his side. Now he was scared. He was going to lose that one person too and become lonely all over again. Jungkook, marrying you or keeping you away from your family was never my plan. I want you to do something else, much, much painful, to make you do something against your family, to betray them. Jungkook, or if nothing worked, I would have killed you, so they would know how it feels to lose a family member. But it still wouldn't be enough, right? Losing whole family and being left alone at such a young age is different than losing one family member. He exhaled and stood up taking a step back. Jungkook. Nothing was ever going to satisfy my rage and thirst of revenge. My father, my mother, my sibling, they all died to feed that monster's greed. But I gave up on my revenge. Jungkook, the day I started getting close to you, it was a red signal. But I couldn't stop. My whole life was based on only one thing, that was revenge. But I let it go when I fell for you. Jungkook, I wanted you to be mine. And I knew. I couldn't give you the pain of losing your family. I couldn't kill them. So I gave up on everything. But if I let you meet them, they would take you away from me. And that's exactly what he is trying to do now. Everything was too shocking to her, just hearing about how much he went through. The one person she loved so much, just because of the other person who grew her up. It felt like she was going to lose both of them. She held his hand and pulled him down and hugged him so tightly like her life depended on it. The pain in her throat along with her heart was getting unbearable. Vyan, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for acting so rashly and trying to leave without listening to you. I'm sorry for everything you went through. You loved me, even when I was your culprit. Jungkook, you are not, Vyan. None of this is your fault. I hid everything because I didn't want you to live under a burden. Apparently, missing your parents was much better than knowing all of this. Vyan, don't do anything alone again. You said we were in this together. Don't only include me in your happiness. I want to share your pain too. He pulled her back and kissed her head and her cell phone rang. That's when she knew her father was here to pick her up. To be continued.